Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to more Ace Attorney, everybody, with Artie and Marty. Hey! So, we're continuing off with Turnabout Sisters. We're on the Day 2 investigation now. Well, I think we're a little more than halfway through the case now, so okay. th this will be interesting. Let's try to do this investigation period in we one video. I thought we were nearly video. done, but I guess not. No. Welcome to Phoenix Wright. <laughs> September 7th, 3.11 p.m., Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, hello! I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a tank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not! You stinky lawyer! I hope you die! Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fall in this May! No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spooky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> oh, snap, Phoenix. <laughs> this is inappropriate uh, prison music. Smile for the camera. <laughs> this guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Poor dude. Or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. That, too, probably. Alright. <laughs> Hey, Miss May, did you know I'm a lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your gut. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that man. Ooh. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. The wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aww, oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose that you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep! This woman is impossible to talk to. She is. <laughs> Your attitude! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. Alright. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Ooh, that does it! Bottom feeding, scum sucking lawyer! B bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a fan against lawyers or just against me? It's totally you. Oh, it, look at her eye twitching. Ugh. Is her eye? Oh, her eye is twitching. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's go back to the fan company offices and get away from her. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. September 7th, Fan Company Law Offices! Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Wait, no, not me. I know we examined a lot of stuff last time, but maybe the stuff has changed. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. The sky's blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Ooh, what movie is that, do you think? Probably Titanic. <laughs> That's all I can think of. I can't see it from here. No clues here. Well, no, you're not supposed to be able to see it, really. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. All the cases that the chief worked on are filed here. Hmm, are some of the files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Mm. Alright. Let's go see Maya Faye. Or not. Yeah, we can't. We can only see April May. I guess Maya's in questioning. Ugh. Grossberg. <laughs> September 7th. Grossberg Law Offices. Huh? Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Let's look at this. Wait, why is the painting gone? Maybe he sold it. <laughs> That's weird. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... 
Uh, do you remember? It was some dude with a fishing rod or something. Fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting anyway. Uh, I would not say that. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Gatewater Hotel. We're back in Miss May's room, even though she's under arrest. This is creepy. Oh, September boy. 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room of 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> we can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Oh my god! Whoa, whoa! Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. Wow. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Well, in that case, I want a nice coffee, man. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be $18. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. That was fine. Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. Wow. <laughs> the man with May. I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. Um. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely! And on that subject, we have a, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as The Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Oh. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great! Whatever for your tea set. <laughs> that would freak me out. I would never stay there. Oh, I want to check something. How old is the bellboy? 26. Okay. Okay, I'm like three years older than her. Alright, alright, that's fine. Um, do, 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 do. That's kind of all we can do, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's move. Alright, um, kind of been everywhere. We need to examine something else. Oh yeah, something. there's something on his desk here that wasn't there before. What's this? What's this? This cover everywhere. <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident, exhibit A. DL6 incident, exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Exhibit oh. B. Which one? Let's look at exhibit B. If there's no, if I know anything about Winnie the Pooh, it's that Eeyore is Exhibit B. So <laughs> I don't know. Do you remember that from the movie? Yes, I'd like to present now to I you do. Exhibit B. Uh, I don't know. That's let's the, see what's Exhibit that's A only... first. Honey. Okay, okay. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one real photo, and it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Photograph quietly added to the court record. Quietly. It's not like there's anyone here, Phoenix. Photograph. On the back, the words DL6 incident, exhibit A, were written in pen. The pencil, I'm sorry. I wonder if that's their mom. Whose mom? Um, Mia and Maya's mom. Kind of mm, looks like maybe. her a little. Ugh, well, I know who that guy is. <laughs> a photo lies on the desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took? Yeah, well, yeah. I think I'll swap them. Photograph added to the court record. Okay. <laughs> Is it just me, or does that guy totally have Mr. Crosswire hair? It He does. Well, it's purple instead of his red. His hair, but... though, kind of looks like a purple caterpillar that they just slapped on his head, and they were like, Yup, <laughs> that's it! <laughs> Maybe. That should work. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm <laughs> back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart! 
that does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> Let's present the photo to her. Hey, look. Have a look at this. Look, I've said several times, I'm not telling you. <gasps> Where did you... Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. D do you have proof that it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof! Show me proof! I'm so close! Let's go back and swap the photo, maybe? Oh, never mind. Hello, butler boy. Well, he's like, if you have a photo of the man, I'm sure I can. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that already. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. <laughs> you know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Yeah, Have him write it or turn him down. <laughs> I've never said turn him down before. Let's turn him down. Well, thanks, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Oh? Oh, I see. Well, later then, if you need it. Oh, you can get it later then. Yeah, but we're gonna write it now. Well, sure. Why not? Yes! <laughs> I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. I didn't even know what that was. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it! <laughs> Bellboy's affidavit added to the court record. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Oh, snap! Well, she probably can. She's gonna, like, explode. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I love the music. Me too. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. He told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. <gasps> now I'm getting somewhere. Easer fears or pusher har? <laughs> pusher har? I don't know. I actually am not sure. Let's easer fears. Okay, okay. She's vulnerable now. I should be gentle. Miss May, it would be easy for me to hand this affidavit to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more, er, inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Somehow I think you're not up to it, hmm? Show them a little kindness and they jump all over you! That had the opposite effect to what I wanted. Oh. <laughs> Poor little lawyer. And you were so close. This isn't working. I think I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Damn it! <laughs> Discarded the bellboy's affidavit. <laughs> the man in this photo is the one I want. Why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. <laughs> yeah. Push her hard. <laughs> Push her hard. <clears throat> this is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb. If indeed, that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this photo to the press. What?! Even though he should be a witness to murder, this man is in hiding. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. <sighs> Fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes! Man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. <laughs> Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <laughs> Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of the information gathering... Co what the Conglomerate. Heck? Conglomerate! Blue Corp! Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call them a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder? I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. That it's makes a, so much sense. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White at last. 
Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Time to light the lights. It's time, time to, to meet, meet the Muppets. Muppets. Discard okay. the Bellboy's affidavit. Oh, also, did you notice the pun in Gatewater? Gatewater, Watergate. Water gate. Uh-huh. <laughs> also, red, white of Blue Corp. Very American. Wow. Let's go to Blue Corp. We are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. September 7th, Blue Corp Incorporated, CEO's office. Whoa, we just waltzed into the CEO's office? Well, hey, I need to. Oh, look, it's that weird painting. <laughs> What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking that title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion office. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the worldly, wordly, wordly challenge. Wow. What a fruitcake! Yeah. <laughs> hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? He reminds me of Gilderoy Lockhart. Just a tad. Yeah, very similar. (laughs) No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes! This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale! (laughs) Hey dude, check it out. I'm a lawyer. I am terribly sorry, but that really doesn't seem to concern me at all. About this wiretap. Ah, the one that Miss May used, right? Bad girl. Bad, bad girl. She testified that she placed the wiretap at your request. How pathetic. I guess she's trying to pass the buck. Bad, bad girl. Sorry I can't help you. I know nothing. I'm going to need hard evidence to get anything out of this guy. I feel like that is hard evidence, but maybe not. Oh. <laughs> Check it out! I have a photo of you! Isn't this creepy? <laughs> About this picture... Gorgeous! That's a picture of me! Um... (laughs) Ah, I see it was taken in the prime of my youth. About ten years ago, I'd guess. The hotel bellboy says he saw the man on the night of the murder. On closer expansion, he does look a lot like me, but I'm afraid this is someone else. Wow. (laughs) Nope, that's definitely not me. He's far too young. It looks exactly the same. Okay, his badge looks like one of those thumbprint cookies without the thumbprint jam in it. It really does. A little bit, yeah. Let's look at that painting. Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity! I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Hmm... How interesting. What's that? An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges Special Runner-Up, Best Participation. That would be what I'd get. Judges Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize? Hmm, the words Judges and Special kind of stand out. What's with the weird... Is that a globe? That is, I think, a naked guy holding a globe. That says Blue Corp on it. A statue of a man holding up the world. The Blue Corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butatious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butatious for just about anyone to appreciate. (laughs) I love Phoenix's inner snark, it's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk? My my, this is quite the... thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does its sleek rodenture not inspire you? Wow, that's like screaming the ending of Majora's Mask. Little bit. This is the top floor of a 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. Can I see the stuff on the table or is that just... Nope. <laughs> also, notice he has like diamond buttons and cufflinks. Yeah. This guy's rolling in it. We should probably talk to him even though he's a terrible person. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct! She was my secretariat. 
What a shock it was to hear what she has done! What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed! She is paid to answer phones! Tapping them is not in her job description. Why do you- she does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. It sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Yeah, no kidding. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. That <laughs> that's, is a good song. That's Bob Marley's motto, dude. Don't worry, be, be happy. happy. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. Man, what a jerk. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Al oh. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. <laughs> oh, oh. The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Well, that's weird, dude. Let's talk about Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, excellent question! We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. They're Facebook! <laughs> they buy information? Sell information? In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. No kidding. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. That's why I wear Fantabulistic, pink. is it not? <laughs> uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous. I've seen it before. When did you get it? Ooh, good question. What would you choose? Probably when did you get it. Okay. When did you get it? Say, when did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea. I forgot. Wow. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in <coughs> fact. No. Oh. Let's rewind. It's, it's gorgeous. gorgeous. It's a very striking piece of art. Magnificatious, isn't it? Yeah. Why am I making small talk? <laughs> I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh. Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple. Er, rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Ron, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Oh, Worth nothing! Zilch! Zippo! Nada! Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Burger. Wh what Ah! Ugh! Ugh! Uh, he, he punched me! What the heck?! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do now, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away! I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. Great. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. Man, all of a sudden, like, I just want to hear Mia, like, start talking to him, like, Oh, I am here as a ghost! I will help you! I don't know, that might happen. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbirds, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps, perhaps he will. Dead. Perhaps he will explain how a man <laughs> can live life purely for personal profit. Why would? Why is he at his office? I think he's dead. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. This guy well, is at like. Least you let me go. This guy is like the worst person ever. <laughs> he's like, I punched you, but I'm gonna let you get away because I'm great. <laughs> well, let's go to Grossberg's, I guess. Oh, he's not dead. His mustache is moving. He's not dead. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Uh. Maybe I should clear my throat? <coughs> Jump into Jehoshaphat! Oh, you! 
What's wrong? You looked so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. Hmm, well let's see. I wonder if it's Hey dude, the I'm an attorney. Did you know that? Sorry, my boy, I don't think I can help you with that. Oh come on, yeah, come on, man! <laughs> Today's trial. So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. No kidding. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Well, then why didn't you do it? Why didn't you defend her? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to figure about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Really? Hang on. <laughs> so I know there's one... Un I've heard there's one really unbelievably hilarious piece of dialogue that you can trigger here. I don't think I've ever triggered it before, right. so I don't want to screw it up. So I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just that big painting, that photo of Mr. White, or why wouldn't you defend Maya? Uh... All of these good points. Uh... Can we do all of them? Sure. Okay. I thought it was strange. Here was Maya, your own apprentice's little sister, in desperate need. Accused of killing her own sister, no less, and you wouldn't take the case. I finally realized why. You and Red White are connected. He's your boss, blackmailing you, your mother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, let's go back. Okay. That photo of Mr. White. That photo of Mr. White. Why would you have his photo, Mr. Grossberg? Um, yes, well, it's been a long time since then. A long time ago? In a galaxy far, far away? I'm sorry, but I think not. I think you still have ties to Mr. White even today. R really Whatever gave you that idea? W what connection can I possibly have to an individual such as he? It's pretty straightforward, actually. You go drinking <laughs> together? <laughs> what? I oh, want to my... see drinking together. Oh my gosh. Yes. These are all amazing. You go drinking together! You're friends, aren't you? Now you're being foolish, my boy. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it right. <laughs> Why in the world would I ever drink with the likes of him? Huh? Whoops, maybe that wasn't it. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, he's blackmailing you, he's giving you information. Red White is supplying you with information, obviously! What's that now? You've been protecting him all along! You protect him because you need his services! Now you're being foolish, my boy. What po- <laughs> What possible use could I have for the services of the likes of him? Huh? Whoops, maybe that wasn't it. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? I don't- I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, tell me what happened. Right now? Well, hang on. Um, Red White is a man who makes... And then it cut <laughs> off. <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said that you had no intention of parting with? Okay. Well, I saw it. To the oh, actually, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we need I think, to, we I, need we to hear think, about Lover. Yeah, we definitely do. Here's Maya, your apprentice's little sister. Oh, yeah, because I overwrote the save state. We haven't actually triggered this dialogue yet, according to the game. Or connected, he's... All right. You love her. <laughs> your boss first. I'll bet you and Mr. White go way back. He's your boss now and was before, I bet. Why, what? Boss? Are you serious? Yeah! You both have that sort of we're in the same club together feel to you. <laughs> Please, stop. 
You have a very peculiar sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Very well, I'll talk. What does he mean? Sense of humor. I was serious! <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you're a buffer. <laughs> it's not something I can claim to understand. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? <laughs> the, the, what? My boy! Mr. Grossberg, the other day, there was a giant painting hating on that wall. I saw that painting again, today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp. It was a president, wasn't it? Well, my boy, you have a splendid imagination. I, I don't understand how you could... That's because I'm not! We're not... Don't be ridiculous! <laughs> hmm, I guess I was wrong. But it just seemed so funny! <laughs> there we go! That's the dialogue I was really looking That's for. That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright. Alright, that big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right here the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of partying with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. Oh my! So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know what you and White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes! And I know what that is. Your lovers! <laughs> the other one was your lovers spelled with the wrong your. Yep. <laughs> it's not something I can claim to understand. But you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? W w what? My boy! You sent that painting to him! As a sign! A sign of undying love! <laughs> m m my boy, please! You're letting your fancies run away with you! Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I'm a lawyer! I, I don't understand how you could- That's because I'm not! We're not! Don't be ridiculous! Enough. I'll swallow my pride and tell you all. Wow. I knew it! They are lovers! <laughs> but no! We are not lovers! <laughs> Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Oh, yeah. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. Yep. I've been paying them for 15 years now. Oh, 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. The DL6 incident. Oh, it must be what I think it is then. What is? What do you think it is? That um, murder of the, their mother or mother, something with the, with Maya's family. That, that okay. Thing. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium, a medium. Her name was Misty Fay. Fay, indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. That whole thing, yeah. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want pe the people to know that they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Oh. The papers! Maybe it's the papers that she... Hidden the statue. But don't you remember? White took them before. Stupid. <laughs> it's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. 
Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said that there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. Do investigation song. All right, let's look at them. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? File A through I, J through S, or T through Z? I don't remember. Well, what are we looking for, really? We're looking for the... Well, they're either they're either looking for Fay, which would be F, or White, which is T through Z. All right, let's try White first. T U I know W White. The entire W section is missing. Oh my! Was it taken? That would make sense. Of course, I took it all. <laughs> <laughs> all the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. All right. Okay, you said for Fay. Let's do A sure. through I. Let's see if there's an A record in this file that catches my eye. Boom! Oh my gosh. A, B, F. Misty Faye! That's me and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Read it, leave it be. Uh, oh. I don't think it has much to do with the current case. I'd be interested to know what it contains, but I'll leave it alone for now. Oh, that's not even that's funny not even dialogue. Read it. Oh, Mia's voice. I have tarnished the Faye name. Leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Holy cow. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who stole my, or sold my mother's information for riches. The other one was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who made it makes his fortune on threats and cohesion. Coercion. Coercion. Sorry, I cannot read it really. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Let's try the other one, why not? Let's right, look at J the J through one. S. Let's see, J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this? Skim, leave it be. Leave it be probably does the same thing. Nah, this is taking too long. Later. Uh, I've never been good at reading these things. I kind of I feel for you, Phoenix. That's pretty much all I'm doing right now at my new job is yeah. reading stuff. Skim. <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here at the end of in S. Suicide. Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. It's this the is, most disturbing one. And this is why I could never be in this job. Because that would depress me. Newspaper could be an article about a politician's suicide. The word white is written in pen at the top. <laughs> and isn't that, we saw white's photo there. Like, he, I did that. <laughs> All right, let's go back to Blue Corp then. Why would we want to go back there? Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience fervor, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Great! Do I make myself clear? Transparent. <laughs> talk. I think we're past needing to talk about April May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem distressed. Well, I know. This guy's a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that! Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Hot gaze? Oh, really? <laughs> well, Phoenix's Mr. hot gaze. <laughs> There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Yeah, a stupid smirk. Why, yes, there's my eyes, and my nose, and my mouth. But of course I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my, comp <laughs> my cosmopolitan sense of humor. I will not think the less of you. Wow, this guy is such a dick. 
Pretty much! <laughs> Newspaper clipping. Let's show this to him. This is the only clue that Mia left me. He's gonna rip it up. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You bribed him, you spied on him, you blackmailed him. Um, probably either bribed or blackmailed. I think probably blackmailed. Yeah. You bribed him! B bribed What exactly has led you to say this? Um, gee, that's a good question. I guess I got my ahead of myself there. Humph, you certainly have an active imagination. Damn it! Nope, that was the wrong save state. You spied on him. You were spying on him, weren't you? Spying? You snooped on him and found out about the embezzlement. Then, when you revealed it, he was driven to suicide. Mr. Lawyer, I know nothing of this. And even in the highly unlikely event that I did do such a thing, all I would have done was provide information. That is not a crime in this country. Gah, this guy's as cool as a cucumber. That's Unfortunately, he does have a point, which is stupid. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. Not just hundreds. <laughs> Did I say hundreds? You said Look, I was, I was saying tons and hundreds, I guess. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. To be fair, that actually is a that really... That is bizarre. <laughs> Mr. Ron, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Ron will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right or you're wrong. <laughs> um... <laughs> I mean, he is wrong, but... He's also right. <laughs> yeah, just pick whatever. You are absolutely right. I should be looking for the killer now. And actually, I've done better. I've found him. Oh! He's sitting right in front of me. Just what are you insinuating? Did you not pick it? Was I not su Was I too subtle for you? Sure. <laughs> Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. Oh, okay. This is where it all hooks up. Oh, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me. What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. Oh, yes, I was. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Ron. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. This is you, by the way. Oh, what am I? You're the chief prosecutor talking on the phone right now? Wait! That you? What are you doing calling me up at a time at this? Or like this? Hello, chief prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you that I changed my mind, didn't I? This is a female prosecutor? Yeah. Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. Oh my gosh. What?! Mr. Wright, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? Oh my gosh, I'm, nice. I'm telling you to send the police now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Rom, 
You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you? I kind of feel bad for April May now. Yeah. Like, I, I did... She's, like, a terrible person, I kind of but... figured that she was gonna get, like, framed for something, but I wasn't sure how it would work. Yeah, and, like, as, as a bad of a person she is, like, he's way worse. Yeah. <laughs> I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as Seldon. What about the defense, <laughs> defense lawyer? <laughs> no lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir! Ah! Butts! Harry Butts! <laughs> right, actually! Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. W what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Great. Farewell, Mr. Ron. So this makes like zero sense now. Where it's like, oh, now we're arrested. Oh well. September eighth, three forty-seven p.m. Detention center visitors room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Uh, right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya! Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha. <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother... My sister... Now you! This has gone too far! Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um... Well... Defend, defend me in court! court. Defend Cheer me, me on court. court! Help no, me break out no. of here! <laughs> Wait, let's try all those options, but I want to defend in court so bad. <laughs> okay, help me break out of here. Right, okay, listen up. I want you to help me break out of here. You mean a jailbreak? There ain't no way! <laughs> <laughs> the guy's right there! Yeah, tonight's our only chance. Alright! Huh? Oh, I better go get a hacksaw while the stores are still open! <laughs> oh, oh, and a rope ladder, and a getaway car. Can you drive? <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. <laughs> Sorry, That's Maya. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer me off. Cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. All right. Leave it to me. Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? <laughs> yeah, I think these all end the same way. <laughs> Defend me in court. Alright, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. Alright! Huh? <laughs> Leave it to me! I am Mia's sister after all. Lawyership runs in our blood! Wasn't it ESP that ran in your blood? I'd better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? what? I'm kidding! It was a joke! No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks, it's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But... but I can't just sit here and do nothing! I've got to give that man a piece of my mind! Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the court tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two! Oh boy. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow is the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it! It's me or him!
That bit, that little explanation there is basically like, yeah, we know the court system is screwed up. Here's kind of an explanation for it. Okay. <laughs> So that's the investigation period, and all we have left is the trial period, which we can also probably get through in one Yay, let's video, do it. because literally the only witness is him, and he's, oh, sweet. he's a moron. That'll be fine. But that'll be fine. <laughs> all right. Hope to see you then. We're going to give that scumbag what for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> have a great day, and God bless.